In 2018, the Dark Rock Pro 4 was introduced to the world and today we can finally welcome the long-awaited successors. Starting with the Dark Rock Pro 5, but that's not all. We are also sending the Dark Rock Elite into the race as a new premium model. Both coolers continue the proud tradition of Be Quiet, which began in 2011 with the Dark Rock Advance and the Dark Rock Pro with the silent wings USC installed at that time. Since then, these coolers have become an essential part of the gaming and tech world. The Dark Rock Pro 4 has proven to be extremely popular in our community and in the press. Tech Power Up summed it up. Overall, if you're looking for a good looking top tier air cooler that can be considered silent, look no further than the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. Guru 3 complemented, it cools well, is very silent and looks fantastic. Definitely worthy of a Guru 3D recommendation. The Dark Rock Pro 5 and Dark Rock Elite follow in big footsteps, as its predecessor has already established itself as a powerful and quiet cooler in the premium class. So if you're curious about how we've taken our new flagship air coolers to the next level, stay tuned. We focused on four main areas that take the Dark Rock Pro Elite to the next level. Strong performance, maximum compatibility, ARGB lighting and thoughtful usability. When it comes to performance, the Dark Rock Elite is a true powerhouse. With two powerful 135mm silent wings fans and seven high-performance copper heat pipes, it guarantees maximum cooling performance, air pressure and perfect airflow. With the speed switch, you can choose between the quieter Be Quiet mode and the powerful performance mode. It therefore sets a new standards in air cooling and surpasses the already impressive cooling performance of its predecessor. But why do you need a speed switch at all? Quite simply, we want to give you an optimal choice to quickly and easily customize your CPU cooler to your needs. Let's just take a closer look at the speed switch. Performance mode unlocks the maximum power of the cooler, which means the two fans can rotate at a maximum of 2000 RPM, which moves a lot of air to cool your CPU. Of course, the fans automatically adjust to the actual speed needed via the PVM signal and fan control. For experienced users, this also offers maximum flexibility, for instance, to perfectly adjust the Dark Rock Elite to their own system via self-defined fan curves and to tickle the best possible performance out of the CPU. You. The quiet mode, on the other hand, with a smaller maximum fan speed range and thus lower noise levels, is aimed at users who want a quiet machine and do not want to make any adjustments to their system themselves or simply use predefined fan presets of their motherboard. In this mode, the two fans spin at a maximum of 1500 RPM, making it easy to build a quiet yet powerful system even without any prior knowledge. Maximum compatibility is achieved by the asymmetrical layout of the seven heat pipes, which run more steeply upwards to make room for the heat sinks mounted on the BRMs. In addition, the center fan has a specially beleveled frame, which maximizes compatibility with surrounding components despite its large size. The front fan can be moved up and down in six stages via a rail system to ensure maximum flexibility in RAM selection. The intuitive plug-in system for the middle fan and the magnetic top cover make installation a simple matter, even if the graphics card is already pre-installed. Also important for one or the other, the Dark Rock Elite is compatible with both liquid metal and traditional thermal paste. Last but not least, of course, you've already seen it, the ARGB lighting that blends seamlessly into your setup while still maintaining the unmistakable Be Quiet aesthetic. On the top, we see the ARGB ring, which can be controlled quite classically via a 3-pin ARGB cable through the motherboard or an ARGB hub. Discreet but still distinctive. So related but not in-laws, the Dark Rock Pro 5 is the classic successor to the Dark Rock Pro 4 without ARGB, but with many small and large improvements. The cooler is also ideal for overclocked systems or even demanding workstation. There's a 120mm silent wings 4 fan with a funnel shaped fan outlet on the front and a 135mm silent wings fan in the middle section. Thus, the height adjustable front fan together with the generous cutouts on the fins of the heatsink also offers maximum compatibility with RAM and VRM coolers. 
In performance mode, the Dark Rock Pro 5's 120mm front fan spins at up to 2000 RPM and the 135 center fan spins at up to 1700 RPM. In quiet mode, this is of course much quieter again. Here it is 1500 for the front and 1300 for the large 135mm fan in the middle. So you again have the choice of maximum performance or a system that is as quiet as possible. Another similarity with the Dark Rock Elite are the seven high performance copper heat pipes, which also provide an immensely high cooling capacity. The special black coating with ceramic particles not only gives the Dark Rock Pro 5s its refined look, but also enables top notch heat transfer. We are also talking about optimizations in the mounting of the middle fan, the flexibility through the speed switch, and its immense performance with all current AMD or Intel CPUs of the latest generation in the mainstream segment. All necessary accessories are included to upgrade AM4 and LGA 1200 based systems in terms of cooling. Visually, the Dark Rock Pro 5 relies on a rather understated look and therefore does entirely without RGB elements and impresses with its classic black style, which can be described as very clean overall. To sum it up once again, the new Dark Rock series offers immense cooling performance through state-of-the-art fan technology and an iconic design. A speed switch makes it easy to adjust the coolers to the intended use and the height adjustable front fan gives you plenty of freedom when choosing your memory and motherboards. Anyway, I'm already very excited to see what cool builds you will create with the Dark Rock Elite or Dark Rock Pro 5. Let me know in the comments which of the two new coolers is your favorite. And as always, keep in mind, stay cool and be cool.